हरे कृष्णा लॉर्ड चैतन्य द सेकेंड वर्स ऑफ हे शिक्षास्टकम ही सेस नाम नाम कारी बहुदा निज सर्वशक्ति तत्रता निमिता स्मरणे न काल एकदृशी तव कृपा भगवन्मी दुर्दीदृशमीह जनीनाग सो हियर लॉर्ड चैतन्य सही नाम कारी बहुदा निज सर्वशक्ति ओ लॉर्ड यू हैव इन्वेस्टेड ऑल द पोटेंसीज ऑल योर पोटेंसीज इन दिस होली नेम तत्रता नियमित स्मरण न काल ओ लॉर्ड देर नो कंस्ट्रेन्स इन चैंटिंग दिस होली नेम्स एकदृशी तव कृपा भगवन मापी बाय अलाउिंग अस टू चैंट दीज वंडरफुल होली नेम्स विच हैज नो कंस्ट्रेन्स यू अलाउ अस टू कम इन टच विथ यू हाउ मर्सिफुल द लॉर्ड इज Firstly, he has invested all his potencies in the holy name. So we have heard this in one of the video about coming in touch with all potent holy name. So he has invested all his potencies in the holy name. First, if he has invested all the potencies, then there should be some constraints that only some qualified people can come in touch. Only at this time a person can come in touch, or in this place the person can come in touch with the holy name. No constraints. No constraints. So can you imagine that the chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra that is given to us is so very wonderful that it has got no constraints of time, place, person, desha, kala, patra. Now, understanding this, we have to contemplate or try to comprehend that how much Krishna is trying his best. to give us opportunity to get closer to him if he knows very well if you would have put constraints on this that only a person who is qualified and in a very particular pure place in a very particular pure time he is the one who will get my association in the form of holy name then forget it there will be no customers only <laughs> there will be no one who will come in touch with the lord so lord has just opened it up for everyone everyone anyone can come in touch with the lord by chanting his holy names because there is no constraint of time any time we can chant the holy name there is no constraint of place any place we can chant the holy name there is no constraint of qualification of a person any person doesn't matter how fallen the person is how contaminated the person is he can chant the holy name this is the mercy of our lord but the worst part is that even after having such a wonderful opportunity to associate with the lord we are not able to associate with the lord properly because we don't have that anuraga we don't have that taste and attachment for the holy name this is what is our fallen state the power of the holy name is very clear and unfortunately our state is very fallen so that is also very clear therefore understanding the glory of the holy name and the merciful aspect of the lord understanding our fallen state we should try our best to be attentive while chanting because as soon as we realize this point that how much lord is trying his best to give us an opportunity to come in touch with him even when we are all fallen still he is allowing us to come in touch with him naturally we will feel very grateful to the lord and the heart which is filled with gratitude that heart is ready to receive the mercy of the lord therefore today when we are chanting let's try to remember this verse that how lord has invested all his potencies in the holy name and how lord has opened it up for everyone without any constraints and along with that how much lord is hankering or how much lord is trying to allow us to come in touch with him but unfortunately how we are not having taste anurag and you know, for the holy name understanding all this we should try to be attentive when we are attentive in our chanting naturally by the mercy of the lord because he'll be very pleased by his mercy we will develop that anuraga we will develop that taste and attachment for the holy name and then chanting will be just 
similar to eating some favorite sweets of ours. So today when we are chanting, let's try to remember all these different aspects and try to focus on each and every mantra that we are chanting. Hare Krishna.